The following are all good prognosis after nerve injury except A. Young age B. Low velo velocity injury C. Sharp or knife injury D. Proximal injury E. Early exploration And the answer is D. Proximal injury Now let's revise a bit regarding the prognosis after the nerve injury Among the main factors associated with outcomes after repair of peripheral nerve injuries are 1. Age of the patient 2. Mechanism of injury 3. Nerve injured 4. Injury location 5. The defect length 6. The repair time 7. The repair method 8. Operation technique 9. Repair materials Now let's discuss about the main factors Number 1. The age Younger patient has a better outcomes than older patient In children they have stronger regenerative capacity, require a shorter length of nerve regeneration due to relatively short limbs, have a shortened duration of re because of axon growth, and they have less atrophy. Nerve regeneration was poorest in patients aged more than 50 years old due to relatively poor nutritional status, local circulation, fewer receptors because of age-related changes of the central nervous system, CNS. Number 2. Mechanism of Injury High energy blunt trauma associated with serious bone and soft tissue injuries. Outcomes may be poor after the repair of the nerve injuries if the tissue bed in poor condition. In extensive crush injury, there is significant area of damaged tissue resulting in poor local perfusion after the debridement of the dead tissue. Study by Murovic shows good to excellent results after knife injuries, poor in gunshot or sharpnel injuries. Number 4. Injury location or injury site. When the injury is close to the proximal end of the nerve, functional recovery after nerve repair is poor. If the injury is close to the distal end, functional recovery after nerve repair is good. The reason being A. If the location of the injury is too close to the neurons, massive neuronal necrosis may occur which may seriously affect the functional recovery. B. Functional recovery depends on regeneration of nerve fibers from the location of the injury to the nerve endings. The more proximal injuries, the longer the time it took to regenerate. Muscle regeneration occurs after an extended period of denervation, resulting in increased difficulty in restoring function after re -innervation. Degenerative changes in the skin receptors 
result in even poorer post-operative functional recovery. C. The proximal segment of the nerve tract is often composed of mixed nerve bundles and the risk of crossover growth between the sensory and motor nerve fibers is high. At the distal end, the nerve has already divided into sensory and motor tracts. And perineural suturing can be performed between the ends of the motor and sensory tract to achieve a satisfactory functional recovery. Number 6. The Repair Time Outcomes after nerve repair depends on the time from the injury to the repair. Earlier repair is associated with better outcomes. If one stage repair of the injured nerve is possible, new nerve fibers can quickly grow into the distal end of the nerve. If the nerve is not repaired for a long time after the injury, scarring may occur in the distal end of the nerve or the ingrowth of new nerve fibers may be obstructed by collapse of the endoneural sheath. Even if there is new nerve fiber ingrowth, the original morphology and function cannot be restored. Moreover, long-term loss of innovation results in degeneration and atrophy of the muscle fibers and the terminal receptors in the skin. Outcomes are poor when the repair is delayed by more than one year because muscle atrophy becomes irreversible at 1.5 to 2 years after loss of innovation. Okay, that's all. Thank you.